Welcome to the bloody age of the guillotine. What a pitiful sight. Pitiful. You poor, poor man. Don't be scared. It will soon be over. This was the chance of our lifetime. This is the little known story of how Napoleon Bonaparte first emerged from obscurity. How he risked everything and set out on a path that would see him crowned Emperor of France. Everyone's going to get their chance, Napoleon. That's why we came to this country. You must make your name here for all of us. Take care. To Captain Napoleon Bonaparte, by order of the Committee of Public Safety, Paris. You are hereby promoted to Commander of Artillery for the District of Toulon. The fighting around Toulon has been fierce and infantry losses heavy. But the importance of this region cannot be overstated. The revolution is under assault from all sides, by traitors and their foreign allies, but nowhere is the threat greater than at Toulon. The English, invited in by French counter-revolutionaries, occupy both the city and its port. From here they could overrun the entire south of France. Toulon must be retaken without delay. You are to report to the headquarters of General Carteau at Ulyul. Spanish are pressing up from the Pyrenees, Austrians from the east, English the north. And we thought... God knows how many tied up in the guerrilla war in the modern day. But retaking too long is still Paris's main concern. Well, it's not your normal rebelling city. Well, you've had the place by now. It's the English. We're here, about four miles west. I deployed battalions of infantry to retake the areas around the city. 
deployments which have been immensely successful. We've got back the entire surrounding areas. And as you can see, we've begun punishing the collaborators. Everything's under control, just another siege now. Citizen, your colleague General Brunet thought this was just another siege, which is why we're having him executed. We're not military men, but this could finish the revolution. Lose Toulon, its naval base. We could lose France. Now, I suggest your wife shuts her mouth, and you tell us exactly how you plan to get the English out. All the area. Wait for reinforcements. And storm the city walls with a full scale frontal infantry assault. Salute me. Bonaparte? Of course. I know you're planning a frontal assault, but there's another way. You can be in Toulon tomorrow. The English don't care about the city. It's this, the harbour. That's why they're here. Whole English streets there. Make the harbour useless and they'll leave the city. We only ever use the artillery to support the ground troops. What about the other way around? Why don't we use my cannon to attack their boats? Down the peninsula, about there, halfway down, there is a patch of high ground. Occupy that. I'll bring the artillery to there and there. Attack all of their ships. The harbor will be useless to all fall without a man being lost. Infantry, support artillery. Step away from the table. 500 men could do it. We don't even have any cannons. I'll get more and request volunteers. Be quiet. How many sieges have you been involved in Bonaparte? And for Gavignon, we took Marseille with full frontal assault. Cannons breach walls. Soldiers take cities, it works. It did work, but that was against local rebels. English soldiers is trained in the city. That's walls. enough. Yeah. Soldiers well, is trained. It speaks like an ape. They all like you in Corsica? So why are you being like this? Me, General, you, Junior, an immigrant whose father blagged him into military school. I heard the story. Get out. Hi, Jack. Oh, get yourself in here. What did you do before? Oh, fish longer. We're going to build an offensive battery here. Can't tell this. Did Caesar ask permission from the Senate before vanquishing Gaul? Vanquishing? 
We're going to build cover. And behind it, I want placements for two cannons, not these, 24 pounders, nine foot barrels. So you only don't actually have any 24 pounds. Ah! We're not allowed on that peninsula. That doesn't mean we have to sit on our hands. In the name of liberty and equality, we are going to raid our own forts up and down this coast and requisition their cannon. Any retired artillerymen within 80 miles, time and sober. We've got 24 hours. I want every basket weaver, blacksmith, horse, carriage maker in that battery park. This is done, you can tell your kids you didn't fight in battery number 10, but the battery of revolution. Hey. <laughs> you there, help! Not him, you him. You lost him. Where are the extra man from? Well, it's got round about your growing cannon function. General Carl Tone watching the action tomorrow. Military men don't run this siege, politicians do. I've invited two people's representatives, Citizen Barra and Citizen Freron. Shit. You'll be fine. General Carto is never going to take us seriously. Jung over his head. Target's drifting 60 yards further offshore, sir. Drift wind ditch. Elevate 1.24 inches, 1 degree, 50 minutes, same line and charge. Ready with the, uh... Ready with the hurdles. Hurdles. Drop the hurdles. I'm in Beausset for a few days. Is it? I'd be on it too. Oh, uh, Malay and Denon. 
Jacques, André. Last public holiday, their families were seen having their children baptized. Yeah. Copy letter. So the letter is there to go off tonight. That's it. My family, they're to meet me in both say as soon as they can. Of course. To borrow courage. The other is to Paris. The Committee of Public Safety. Letter! Letter! It's not me! Just... Bring yourselves together. Wait. Good luck. Come in, boy. I have a plan to topple too long. You saw what we could do. And who are these? Are they your lieutenants? These are, no, this is my, some of my family. We're refugees from Corsica. <sighs> lieutenants. What will that be? Too long. Could be soon. I have a plan to take the Care Peninsula around the harbour. So I've sought permission to execute my plan. But 500 men could take it in a few hours. Sought permission? From whom? Paris. I sent my plans to Paris, to the committee. I'm waiting for a reply. You wrote directly to Paris? Without going through me? So I thought... <laughs> I'm sure my son assumed that nothing would be ordered without your approval, Citizen Farrell. Sure he did. Now, as a humble citizen, I must wait for their response. I look forward to seeing more of your charming family in Marseille. under the cannons. The guys reckon you keep one eye open on them. I do. It is possible to sleep underwater using a tube or something. No! I've got to talk to the general. In here! In here! You wrote to Paris behind my back when I expressly what ordered did they you say? not to. Why should I tell you? What makes you think? They've agreed. We have to move now. The English have landed on the peninsula. They've landed? We've got to get men on high ground before they do. What sort of deployment? We need a thousand men. Send them now. Give him a thousand. Make that 500. You promised Paris. You could do it with a handful. Let's see, shall we? I need that coffee left. The English are on the headland. We have to move fast. We're not enough men. 
They're ready for fight. Who changed the order? General Carto. Calls it a bastard. We reckon only about a half of the 500 made it back. Just outnumbered. A few were taken prisoner. Explain. He lied to me. I requested. That's insubordination. You can't lie. I was addressing a senior officer. He promised me a thousand men, one thousand, and he maybe his wife sent deliberately half that. Lies. Lies. I am not a liar. I can fight. Could it be? You may call it claim. me that you deliberately threw it's lies away. Lies. Everyone. That you sabotaged the revolution in order to punish me. Sabotaged it? The English have taken the high ground. They know taking the peninsula is the only way. The committee should understand that with just a handful of men, I could end this siege in a matter of hours, with Those no are your French words. being spilled. That was before the English landed. Taking the peninsula is still the only way. It's over. You can't listen to him! You got us involved! In Paris, my name is being used alongside the words failed attack. We are not men that you will ever screw with, Bonaparte. I am not a man you will ever screw with. Convoy was late. Start her. She doesn't want to be here. Just tell her she looks nice. You look nice. Straight down, Rex. You oppressed man that would live free. You beg forgiveness. I say, what do I say? You made life. You made you. They made you major, but it's not what you think. They're looking for scapegoats. Executing a major makes a big splash. That captain. I'm getting the blame. You filled your belly with the food of my children. And you beg forgiveness 
What do I say? Neckline filthy. Corsicans. Worse than the Italians. You condemned men to the fate of their bloodline, no matter their worth. What bastard! Bastard! Scum! I can't do this. I just can't. We haven't got anything. Not a, not a hat between us. Just everything is filthy. Wallowing and self-pity, don't you dare. It's all of us going down, and we can't do anything about it. Who was it? Threatened you. Baron. You have to get rid of him. I can't get rid of him. Then win him back! Go over his head! But do something! For God's sake, do something! General Carto, and I insist that he be removed. Insist? Remove him or remove me. Oh, oh that's a mistake. No. I've not killed anyone until the other day. I was a journalist. You will be dead by nightfall. Iris know about this ultimatum. I wrote. So? So, execute me, and in the eyes of Paris, you'll be putting your name to Carto's plan. A frontal assault, and what it fails. What makes you think you're so much better than all the rest of us? That's not the way to go about things, Bonaparte. <laughs> Make your decision. You will remain in too long. General Carto will be replaced within a week. But I shall also be appointing a more senior artillery commander here. The situation now requires it. You will be relieved of command. What? I told you not to screw with me. Now walk away. Walk away. If he's watching, dog, and we're blaming you, Ratty. You ever see a dance? I did. Bollocks! Oh, oh, look how charming. <laughs> Do you want to talk about um, Can I ask you what your plans are for too long? Well, the revolution has been awakened to danger and uh, has been called to defend freedom. And um, we will bring our enemy to justice and justice to our enemy. 
right. And the peninsula, the um, men are calling the English positions on the high ground Little Gibraltar. <laughs> you won't know, by the way, that I changed my name. Periwinkle. Periwinkle Dope. <laughs> the revolutionary calendar, this is it's a wonderful thing. Uh, every day of the year now has its own name. <laughs> Did you know? Oh, well, in order to show my commitment, I've taken the name of my birthday. Periwinkle. And, um, and there it is. How would it be if the enemy did not hate us? They hate our equality. They hate the opportunity that is available to all men, no matter who he is or where he's from. Apparently he used to be a dentist or doctor. Now he's a puppet. Who just make a joke? Warning, crossers! Hey! You've got your wife over here. She's got a mouthful right now. <laughs> Better to see on this. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, now, boys. Infantry. We captured him during the. Uh... No! No! General Mina followed. I'll not tell them that. I'll not say that. Look, General. Look at him. I'm sorry, Stanislav. You've got to get the revolution off our battlefield. battles doesn't win them. Give me back the artillery for the proper soldier in charge, not some periwinkle. Even one from the old regime. It's winning the fight that matters. Uh, 
I like the name. Little Gibraltar. I don't know how my predecessor allowed this to happen. The English clearly believe the peninsula is the key to Toulon. And I agree with that assessment. You must be Bonaparte, commander of general. General de Gomier. Well, little Gibraltar. The English have turned it into a fortress. 26 bronze in all, a dozen of them 24 pounders. That's not all. Canister shot. For those of you who don't know, they fit in the barrel of a cannon. What sort of range? That tear apart anyone within 500 yards of the fort. 40, 50 men at a time. I don't suppose you have a suggestion as to how you tackle the fort. Shut up! Shut up. A night attack, but spread out. Three columns of infantry, a pinning attack on the right, one in the center, and one on the left along the shore. To stretch the defenses. Mm. And these canisters? You have a plan for them? I do. Of course you do. Two batteries, and for 48 hours before the assault, we bombard the fort burying whatever cannons we can, but whoever is the first in the fort must knock out whichever cannons are left. Unless they do that, it will be a massacre. When the fort falls, we bring the bronze to here, here, finish the job. Something tells me that if I don't promote you in this situation, you will merely promote yourself. Well done, lad. I'll appoint the three column leaders in due course. Do you mind? No. Sit down. The Baron should start it. We attack in 48 hours. <laughs> the revolution thinks it best if Bonaparte stay behind for the attack. I'm afraid I can't accept that. I'm afraid I don't care. Exactly a month ago, we executed the queen of this country. Doesn't matter what for. She didn't do half of it anyway. Now, you are old and wise enough to know that if we can do it to her... I know you. You're a fear. That's all you are. You create terror and milk it. <laughs> Laugh. But you also feel it, my God, of men like Bonaparte, don't you? Men who even from a thousand paces could never be mistaken for mediocre. No man greater than the next. Except for Napoleon Bonaparte. Watch your lip. I'm sorry, lad. That's the world we live in now. Why is he doing this?
you get your chance. Throw on one thing and charge next time and they'll give you your chance. It's not going to happen, Mom. Don't say that. Don't. I've given things up. France is changing. It is. Nothing's changing. Power isn't being handed out like bread. It's being stolen like it always was. Do you think in 50 years, 100 years, the world will be any different? They'll always be kings, Mum. Even if we don't call them that. Then do whatever you have to. the reserves. Sir, the Jim de Gommier hasn't... That's numbering. For God's sake. This is it, mate. Get my horse. Sir. You could be court martial for this. What about your family, please, sir? I've got no choice. Like history's made room for us after all. Hold your neck. Any of you don't feel like going? It's fine. I do. I'll take this sport alone. And destiny will be waiting. Shot will burn off me. Cannonballs will swerve with fear. Not one of you needs to take this sport, but I absolutely insist you come with me and watch me take it. You will come with me and watch me take it. Thank you. 
blood off this. Enjoy this. It won't last. Come close. Glory is fleeting, but obscurity lasts forever. With the fort taken, Napoleon's cannons emptied the harbor. Within hours, Toulon finally fell and the revolution was saved. In 1802, Napoleon posted Freron to the remote island of Santo Domingo, where he quickly died of dysentery. Letitia gained almost mythical status, and before she died saw six of her children join the royalty of various European countries. But all this was down to one man. Just six years after Toulon, at the age of 31, Napoleon became ruler of France and later crowned himself emperor. <laughs>